I just feel like raisins are... I, don't, I wouldn't say they're on their way out, but I bet we've passed peak raisin. Like, my mom was definitely buying that for my school lunches as a kid. And I, I just don't know if I see raisins still, you know... I, They've been relegated to like a niche, uh, a niche snack in the grocery store, but I don't know. I, I don't, I, I, I don't see other kids' lunches at daycare. So, how would I know? According to Google Trends, raisins peaked in April 2020. I don't. Is is that a normalized uh, graph, though? So I feel like search volume for almost everything probably peaked in, like, April of 2020. Because fucking everybody was at home, didn't know what to do. They're like, oh, you know what? I don't have, like, work today. And I'm, like, I've done all my Animal Crossing dailies. Let me Google, like, uh, the history of raisins just to feel something for a second. That's true. People weren't really searching for, for much in the 1970s either. We could see library searches from the 1970s. I bet people were taking out lots of books about raisins back then. Is British Columbia known for any foods? Good question. I don't have an answer for you. It was BC Bud. I don't know if that's like a salad green or something. The lesser salmon. I don't even take offense to that. I think that's true. Even here, people definitely eat the Atlantic salmon more than the sockeye. Nanaimo bars? I guess. Nanaimo bars? I've had some Nanaimo bars in my life. Some apples. Sockeye's goaded? I'll eat any kind of salmon. But I, it pains me to say that I, I definitely, I prefer the Atlantic. The sockeye, I, I almost never say this, it is a little, it's a little gamey. As a maritimer, I appreciate that. That's because Atlantic salmon's all farmed? This is literally the wrong direction. <laughs> I, I have no opinion on farmed versus wild salmon. I honestly, like, it, do you ever feel like there's just too much to have an opinion on these days? I just, I, I'm, maybe I'm the last honest man in the world. I honestly just can't be fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's... Hey, hey! At this point, I don't, I don't know whether farmed is better because it's more sustainable, wild is better because it's more rich in omega threes or whatever. It's just like, it's just too much, man. I can't. I've got an opinion on way too many things. I'll just buy whatever's in the grocery store. I'm tired, boss. Me, when people ask my opinion on an actor whose movies I've never seen because he committed a crime in a country I've never been to. I'm tired, boss. I don't know. He shouldn't have done that, I guess. Oh, but if he was starving to death, you wouldn't support him robbing a loaf of bread from a bakery? I don't know, man. I don't, I, I don't know. Did this really happen? You guys ever wake up in a new Bugatti? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Favorite way to eat kimchi? <laughs> Honestly, I'm a straight up guy. Just like um, Halle Berry says in, in Catwoman, I'll, what do you have? I'll take a white Russian, no ice, hold the vodka, hold the Kahlua. And then the guy goes, here you go, cream, straight up. And she drinks it, and then she gives a little milk mustache, and she licks her lips. <laughs> so, 
Did you watch it last night? I'm only halfway through. I don't know spoilers, please. Sharon Stone still hasn't even gone sicko mode. I mean, I like I like kimchi flavored uh, stuff. Like I like a kimchi jun, like a kimchi pancake. I like a kimchi jjigae. But um, more than anything else, I just enjoy a. I just enjoy a good kimchi, honestly. Your fish is gonna rot. This is my bad. I forgot she was here. I thought she was at the other uh, outpost. Squeak. Kimchi sucks. Low key. Sauerkraut simply superior. I like them both. I don't. I don't. They will not divide us. My anglerfish rotted. <laughs> The fish be rotten too fast. Like, can't we just catch the anglerfish, throw it in our net, and then just, like, leave it in the water behind us? Cucumber kimchi. Now you're tied. Kate did make some cucumber kimchi last night. Here's how it went down. We were at um, Hanam Supermarket. I love cucumber kimchi. I said, I'm not paying $5.99 for three little mini cucumber kimchis, Hanam. Fuck you. Instead... I will just buy some cucumbers, and we already have, um, you know, red pepper powder and all the, all the brown sugar and other stuff you would use, maybe rice wine vinegar to make it. And then I didn't make it, and I told Kate, and she made it for me, and it was delicious. But then she did tell me that two cucumbers and the red pepper that she used in order to make it came to $11. So she was like, if you like it, just buy it from Hanam next time. In my head, two cucumbers and a red pepper is not $11, though. Not at Costco, at least. <laughs> at Costco, I gotta think. $3? No, like red peppers, at least here, red peppers are pretty pricey. But I thought cucumbers were like 99 cents a pop. But it's been a long time since I bought one. Red peppers, like two fifty dollars each. I would I would think like maybe three three fifty Canadian. So it sounds like it's about right. I mean, I honestly I think the reason that like red peppers so, so are so expensive like is a I live in an expensive city, but b there's like demand. Like we need to we need to have some demand destruction on red peppers. But you motherfuckers are making me pay so much for red peppers because you buy that shit every week. I buy like one red pepper every two months. Meanwhile, everybody else is like, the price will never come down because you guys love them so much. You're really bending me over here. I, someone in chat is on the right track, by the way. They said we need a buyer's cartel. That's absolutely true. You know how we were going to do the TikTok challenge that like on Friday, we were all going to pull our money out of TD Canada Trust on the same day <laughs> and take down the Canadian banking cartel just to see what would happen. We need to do that shit, like, TikTok challenge. For one month, we don't buy any red peppers. And then just see what happens to the price of red peppers. I bet that shit will come down, like, 20 30% the next time we're at the grocery store. What about food waste? Maybe, like, salt in the earth with that shit anyway, just to keep the prices high. Let's do it. For the, the rest of April, nobody buy any red peppers, okay? I'm going to hold this to you. Deal. Let's go. I'm, I'm doing my part already. They're tasty, though? Fuck you. Get out of our... You're not welcome in our cartel. Is this TOS? I don't think so. But the bank one might have been, but it was a joke anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm set a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!